What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again, and I have a 7700K that just will not hit that glorious 5 gigahertz overclock. What can we do about it? Stick around. So I'm going to tell you guys a story, I guess, of three 7700Ks and three men who bought them. Man 1 bought the 7700K and hit 5 gigahertz. Man 2 bought the 7700K and hit 5 gigahertz. Man 3 bought the 7700K and didn't hit 5 gigahertz and got stuck at 4.8. Man 3 is me as well as a few other people that I've seen around some forums and even some of the samples that were sent to review sites. I think Tech Power Up was one that didn't get above that 4.8 and had a lot of issues. Now the big block here is actually not so much that the chip just can't go past the 4.8 gigahertz, but it's actually that you just start hitting a ton of thermal issues to the point to where even if you turn off C states and other things, you hit that thermal limit and you cause lots of issues especially like reboots blue screens all that sort of stuff so even at the 4.8 gigahertz where I had the voltage at 1.35 volts we were getting above a hundred degrees Celsius and that's just not good that that's not gonna let me push any further if I did try to push further it would essentially just take a poop during any sort of testing with like Cinebench and so on and so forth so the first step for me was to learn how to delid. If you guys are interested in everything I've been doing with that, I started with the 3770K and failed. You can check that out here. And then I moved on and did two i5s and they were successful, which you can check out here as well. And then finally I did my 6700K and that was wonderfully successful and that's running on air at 4.9 gigahertz. Now, I do want to clarify, if you guys are scared of going above 1.35 volts, this video is not for you, move on. It's for the enthusiasts that want to push their equipment as far as it can go and are willing to take that risk. So I hope that you guys are still here now and let's talk about what I did. After the delid, which you can kind of get an example of how to do that on the 6700K here, and it's the same as the 77 with the 7700K and you'll see the results for that right here. The 7700K actually didn't get as good of results as the 6700K. Once we went ahead and got the delid done, I went ahead and re-ran the tests and the Cinebench actually didn't improve at all all hardly it went from 1050 to 1056 this is the same overclock of 1.35 volts at 4.8 gigahertz however the temperature did drop from 100 degrees celsius to 80 degrees celsius which is a pretty good drop and i'm happy with that the thing is is i usually like to stay well i love to stay below 94 period that's going to happen now that's where a lot of the big thermal issues come in but you will start seeing some thermal issues arise around 84 degrees Celsius. So I like to stay below that. But I did want to go ahead and check for my max overclock. And we went ahead and bumped the voltage up. And we found that we could hit 5 gigahertz at 1.49 volts on the 7700K. And it was okay. We didn't ever crest above that 94 degrees Celsius, which I was happy with. And our Cinebench did go up from that 1056 to a 1098 which beats out the i7 3930k and i was happy with that but i'm getting pretty close to that with the 4.9 gigahertz on the 6700k and the 6700k is staying below like 70c with a delid which is pretty impressive and I can even push that voltage as well all the way up to 1.45 volts or higher i was able to go pretty high on the 6700K and not worry about temperatures. If you put the side-by-side -side delayed results for the 7700K versus itself, the temperature improvements look good. But when you put it against the previous generation for the Intel chips with the 6700K, the results really don't look that good. And the process was exactly the same. I didn't change anything I did here. I used the same thermal paste and so on and so forth. In fact, the 7700K is on a H110i GTX, while the 6700K 
is on an air cooler. Now, of course, I didn't get to hit that five gigahertz on the 6700K, but we're close enough and the Cinebench scores are pretty much identical. So that's the story of my 7700K KB Lake processor. I hope you guys enjoyed. We actually have a forum if you guys are interested in deleting yourselves and kind of documenting what you're doing there, or you have some PC builds going on, head over to sonofatech.com and join us over there for some PC discussion. We also have some game servers that we've been spinning up. I think right now we only have Conan Exiles and Ark, so if you're interested in either one of those, come stop by. A couple buddies of mine from work and myself are hosting these on some of uh, our own equipment out of our houses, so it's pretty cool, and you can kind of just come in and make suggestions and play on our servers with us, so that'd be fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and until next time, I will see you next Tuesday.